games. Is it fun? And do you enjoy the games? No, not today. Well, you see, we ha I've never been made aware of this, so it's... It's common knowledge. But I hope you can use this in your own life to get rid of the parasitic, toxic, what and manipulative are, people. What? No, 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 Off to the edge you <laughs> No. Do you never wish you, you met her? No, I wish. What's your name? My name is Aubrey Webb. My name is Shelby Tucker. Today we'll be answering some questions. Have you ever snuck out on your apartment? <laughs> Yes, I'm sorry. It was an accident. I was. <laughs> an accident. I drank too much. It just happened. I'm sorry. It wasn't <laughs> my fault. No, I've never snuck out on my partner. I'm loyal. <laughs> okay. Do you hate your partner's family? No. Yes. Her family doesn't talk to me. That's not my fault. What was the best relationship you've been in? <laughs> that's that's for me to know. That's for, oh okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess that one too. Okay. Twenty thousand, thirty thousand, forty thousand. What is one thing you absolutely hate about your partner? Um. Ooh. One thing only. <laughs> ooh. Wow. Um. What I would it? say that she is just a burden in my life every day and I, every day I wake up and I hope that she dies. <laughs> yeah, that's it. In a manipulative relationship, you grow an attachment to the system. You see, in a system that we were grown up in, you cannot fight against it. <laughs> Do you take me home? <laughs> then you can think about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this has been okay. a case study too. I don't think anyone's been found guilty, but you can definitely find that, that betterment inside of yourself. And this is close. Yeah. What was your first impression? Um, I thought that she seemed really sweet and nice. I mean, first impressions are usually wrong, though, so. Um, I thought she was rude from the beginning. <sighs> what is the best thing you like about your partner? <laughs> oh, this is going to be a hard one. Do you see any changes in yourself after being with your partner? Yeah, many negative ones. Too many to count, honestly. Mm -hmm. I'm just a more miserable person overall. Yeah, I've become a lot more violent. <sighs> um, have you ever got hit on at the bar? <laughs> yes, every day. <laughs> every time I go. Okay, okay I doubt that. <laughs> Is this a one type of stand relationship? What? <laughs> One night what? stand. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, that's what I was trying to aim for at first, but she's just kind of stuck around, honestly. I don't even know how or why, but... So, um, have you ever thought about getting married? No. No. <laughs> Children? No. Oh, God, no. I don't even want to know how those kids return out. <laughs> Having Shelby as... <laughs> uh, it was a play. Um, very intimate. We high five. This is the case. Of Andrew Bill Webb. <laughs> okay, Andrew Bill Webb, I have a question for you. Yes. What causes you to have a parasitic relationship with Shelby Lynn Tucker? I refute that claim, and I would like to bring up the statement that I do not have a parasitic relationship with Shelby what is Lynn your Tucker. Oh, sir. Well, um, can you spend a week without them? Yes, yes, easily. I wish I could spend a week without them. Um, what is one thing that makes you cry and jump out for joy because of your partner? Cry when every time we talking. talk. Jump out for joy when I don't have to see her. Yeah. What is one thing that you would leave you in tears or heartbreak? <laughs> um, if I have to stick with her any longer. <laughs> okay. Is this almost over? I'm getting. I agree. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I can be next to Aubrey anymore. Throw it out, Aubrey. Aubrey, throw it out. <laughs> Very uncomfortable. And so, you could see... Sorry.
It's hard for me to talk about. You could see the lust in her eyes when she saw me talking to someone else. And so, what she did next was, she immediately grabbed my throat. I could feel her coarse, cold hands gripping around my trachea. I was, I was scared. I, I don't, I don't know what else I could do. I, so what I did was I, I punched her in the gut. All right, introduce yourself, please. Hey, my name is Everett P. Money, uh, Everett Hubert Moses Ezekiel Johnson uh, Partridge. How you doing? What three words would you use to describe yourself? Um, three words? Um, unhinge, <laughs> not in my lane, and rigid. <laughs> Name three things that never fail to me. Three things never make me. Uh, uh, um, three things. Um, first of all, um, watching uh, Jeffrey just in any type of way. Um, second one is um, watching Grant fail at something. Uh, third one is watching Shelby Tucker drive. <laughs> we don't know, we know! <laughs> okay, so basically. <laughs> basically. We know about Miss um, Olsen. <laughs> I only did it once, okay? She immediately fell to the floor and started crying. She weighs 104 pounds, 104.7 to be exact. Um, and so it wasn't punching much. So when I punched her, I felt all the bone and all everything. Her organs were absolutely demolished. And me being the absolute unit that I am felt terrible because I'm so strong and buff that she literally just collapsed and died right then and there. And yeah, that's, that's all I'm gonna go into. But anyways, that will be the end of my most traumatic experience. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, wait, Grant. Get vlog the camera out. <laughs> See y'all later. <laughs> yeah. No more. Cut the camera.